भी आपको लगता है कि कोई इशू है देन यू कैन जस्ट सिंपली नोट दैट वन सो वेन वी लुक एट द स्लाइड दैट इज शेयर विद यू हियर गोल सेटिंग इन दर्गेनाइजेशनल बिहेवियर दिस इज लेक्चर सेवन लेक्चर फोर्टीन ऑफ वीक सेवन गोल सेटिंग वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट what are the effects of the goal setting on the performance of an uh, employee in an organization so why we do uh, um, uh, why we uh, give more emphasis on goal setting in organization and at the end of this lecture we will be able to make clear meaning of the goal setting we will explore why it is important for both organization and employees and how can we apply goal setting as an employee uh, to improve our own performance in the organization so we will be able to uh, achieve these uh, learning outcomes so let's look at uh, the literal meaning of the goal setting goal setting can be understood in in the form of uh, two things one is you have a target why to fix a target what is the meaning of that target and what are the mechanisms what are the ways approaches which lead us towards that fixed target so this is how you can understand the meaning of goal setting when you as a as a person either an employee or any uh, sort of uh, attachment with any task when you have to do something and before doing that kind of work when you come up with uh, uh, some picture in your mind so i have to reach at this destination i have to perform this work till that period of time so when you come up with this sort of understanding and fixed your time and allocate the resources and choose a particular path to reach at that target well in time and you have some sort of uh, 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 thing in your mind to face the possible challenges on way to reach at your target for example while you have a target to achieve and achieving during the achievement of that target you may possibly have a number of challenges so how to face those challenges how to overcome those difficulties on your way uh, before reaching a target you must be well prepared in that manner so when you with this mindset fix a particular goal and devise your mechanisms to reach at that goal well in time preparing yourself to face the possible challenges on way to achieve that goal you uh, you become a successful uh, target setter so that's how you can make meaning of goal setting why it is important for yourself as an employee why it is important for the organization you can understand people who as abraham abraham lincoln talks about people with clear written goals accomplish far more in a shorter period of time than the people without having these targets without having these goals who could ever imagine so this means that the successful people are those people who have some clear written goals and they know why to accomplish these goals how to accomplish these goal and how to face the possible challenges while accomplishing this goal when people with this particular commitment with this clear clear uh, uh, clear objective in their mind 
start doing something, they accomplish their task in a very short period of time as compared to those people who have never fixed a particular target. They may reach or they may not reach because they have not fixed a target. They have not uh, identified their uh, objectives. So for those people, it would be difficult. So therefore, goal setting is an important in every day, every person's life in every employee's life, in a professional life, in the, uh, uh, in the life of the organization, as well as in their own personal lives. When you set a particular target, you, uh, you become successful because you have some picture in your mind and you have to do something well in time and you probably um, uh, do that. So that's why goal setting is important, not only in the uh, uh, life of the organizational uh, setting, but also in your personal life as well. So there are many benefits of goal setting. You Once you set your goal, this, the first benefit of goal setting this goal setting enables you to achieve higher level of success. This develops confidence in, in the person, increases personal motivation, gives a kind of satisfaction with the work that for that you have fixed a goal and ultimately you you get a pleasure of that success happiness throughout your 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 life that period of time because you are not a scattered person you are a uh, well balanced person you know what to do why to do and how to do and how to use the resources what kind of the limitations you have how you can handle those things so all kind of the thing is well managed. Therefore, ultimately there is no pressure. Ultimately there is no, you know, uh, uh, burden on, on you and you become relaxed with happiness. The second important benefit of this goal setting is it enables you to uh, come with a positive attitude, can do attitude. For example, people who are goal setters, they develop a kind of positive behavior in, in their life. They come up with a positive thinking and attitude that they, they do not hesitate to say, yes, I can do that. So the I can do attitude is a very positive attitude that builds, you know, um, a kind of confidence that leads you towards high level of success. Third important benefit of goal setting is fulfilling your life, more fulfilling life. You will not, uh, you know, become frustrated from the life, rather life for you will be more fulfilling, more enjoyable, more blessings. So that is the, uh, one of the most important benefits of goal setting. And, and in addition to these, there are many other benefits of the goal setting. So you can experience in your life. When you reflect on after, you know, experiencing uh, with uh, performing a task with goal setting and performing a task without goal setting. So when you will do that, so you will come across so many benefits of goal setting. So that from person to person also uh, you can come up with your own experiential learning. We, we came to realize that 
goal setting is an important activity in one's life that enables a person to uh, to reach a destination with a calculated time period using available and accessible resources and facing and with commitment to face the possible challenges to achieve their target so there are many benefits of this uh, goal setting and and if this is the situation then we must know what are the basic principles of goal setting the first and most important principle of the goal setting is coming up with a clear picture of your goal what is that goal is that measurable goal is that achievable goal is that if you uh, behaviorally very much uh, you know clear about uh, that goal so that there would be no ambiguous no any kind of you know uh, uh, disturbance to um, to achieve that particular goal so that must be very much clear there should be no doubt about your goal the first principle this means that you must be well aware about the goal that you are going to fix so without knowing your goal without knowing is its nature and uh, your own skills and your own limitations how it is possible to fix a goal so that's why the first principle of the goal setting is to come up with clear objective clear about the picture clear about the target that you are going to achieve the second most important principle is challenging challenging your goal must be a challenging goal if your goal is not a challenging goal you will not take interest in that particular goal so if you pick a challenging goal this will trigger your motivation to achieve that that challenging task so you must be a person with passion you must be a person with motivation to achieve to perform a task that is challenging that is not easy for everyone so if you so the, the and second important principle of the goal setting is you must fix a challenging challenging goal that you can that you can achieve this is not the uh, point you must pick a challenging task that you cannot perform that is not the meaning of the challenging but the challenging means that task which everyone cannot do but you as a person you with your own commitment with your own motivation with your own you know skills and knowledge and expertise you can do the attitude that i can do attitude that helps you to uh, fix the uh, you know uh, think about a challenging uh, goal third principle is commitment once you are clear about your goal and you have fixed a challenging goal you must be committed without commitment you cannot achieve a challenging goal even that even then that is very clear but if you are not committed if you you do not <clears throat> utilize all the resources time is a important resource other material resources financial resources for achieving a particular uh, task to perform well in time you must be very committed you should not be detract from the target fourth important principle is feedback clarify expectations what are your expectations what are the other people's expectations from you about that that task that you are going to perform adjust goal difficulty you must have must have 
that capability to adjust that goal difficulty if the goal is goal is difficult how can you adjust that goal around the you know goal to achieve the uh, desire uh, uh, all possible uh, you know outcomes of that uh, that goal so reach at least nearest point of that goal so if that is very much difficult uh, goal to achieve at least your your target must be very much nearer to that one benchmark tar targets you must fix some benchmarks some some criteria to uh, achieve achieve that target intermediate milestones so you 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 should be very much clear what should be the milestones what should be benchmark what are the immediate or intermediate you know milestones which can guide you to reach a that particular target so how can you go step by step what are the ways so if you uh, get feedback through this sort of uh, you know engagement this feedback could be a, a feedback from your own own actions feedback from your own reflections feedback from your own uh, uh immediate supervisors so the feedback could be from anywhere the most important feedback is from yourself if you are engaged with a particular task to perform so either that task that you had uh, a, a kind of expectation are you according to your own expectation to uh, to perform that thing or you are far behind from that expectation what should be what should be done at that time what should be the benchmarks what should be the the Im immediate you know milestones that you have to achieve if you are away from those so how can you overcome those those uh, sort of you know challenges so you must be very much clear about the feedback task complexity provide enough time for the practice sufficient time to meet the goal make sure conditions don't inhabit you know <clears throat> the task is is that uh, the the complexity of the task you know the the challenges on way to achieve on way to accomplish that particular task for that you need to uh, you need to provide enough time for practice how to do that what could be the uh, the difficulties so how how those difficulties should be overcome so if you come up with these five important principles of goal setting and you know your own strength and weaknesses and the opportunities to achieve the target so you will be a successful person in achieving those targets now we will <clears throat> after having a clear meaning of goal setting its importance the benefits of the goal setting and basic principles of goal setting we will look at a particular model of goal setting some of you are very much clear about the term smart and some people uh, smart objective small goal, goal setting some have come up with smarter and uh, many other people came up with the idea of smarty inclusion and uh, uh, effectiveness so th those people have their own uh, understanding about uh, this model when we talk about goal setting model uh, if we look at this smart or smarter or smarty the first character is s s m a r t e r smarter for example we take the model of smarter smarter means the first term first uh, characters s means it should be specific it should not be ambiguous it should be very specific one the first uh, uh, point is that you need to be specific you should 
achieve a target that is specific target, specific objective. Second is measurable. It should not be so big that you cannot measure, you cannot achieve. So that's why it should be measurable within a particular uh, resources, within a particular time frame, you should measure the task. The third one is, is uh, that is attainable. Attainable means you, you should reach at the target well in time or achieve their target very clearly. Next important thing is relevant. Whatever the objective, whatever the target you are going to achieve, that must be relevant to the task, relevant to uh, your particular chosen target. The next one is, that is uh, time bound. Whatever you are going to achieve, that must be within a particular period of time. And the uh, another important characteristics of this model is evaluated. You as a as a goal setter, you would be able to evaluate either whatever you have thought about. You you achieved that within uh, the uh, uh, resources or not? What is the what is the worth of your your performance? You should be uh, able to evaluate that thing. And finally, that is uh, reviewed. The overall process of goal setting, the overall process of achievement from the uh, target setting to the accomplishment of the task, if you, you can review the whole process so that this model helps you to go back to the beginning and middle and the final stage of the uh, target to achieve and what were the good things that you have performed very well what were the challenges that when you fixed a target next time how can you overcome those things what were the lessons that you have learned so this review process will enable you to make sense of an improved version of goal setting in your life. So in this way, so you can uh, improve the way goal setting uh, is, is all about. So why it is important? How can we fix the goal setting? What is the meaning of the goal setting? And uh, what are the benefits of the goal setting? How can we fix uh, goals? and what should be uh, the principles of the goal setting and uh, how the models, different models, are the SMART model or SMART model or the SMARTER model, whichever the model you, uh, you pick and frame your all whole actions into that model and focused on the target so that in that way you can enhance your performance. So that is the basic purpose of goal setting in the organization.